what's going on everybody it's the blockchain raccoon bringing you the latest crypto news and analysis so today we're going to cover an article in coin telegraph beyond bitcoin the future of digital assets is bigger than the first crypto while bitcoin is the most recognizable digital asset it's just one asset class among many that are here to evolve the financial services globally. While change is guaranteed, the scale and scope of the change are not. For the financial industry, blockchain, the technology that undergirds Bitcoin, Ethereum, non-fungible tokens, and other digital assets, has brought us to the crossroads. What will the future of money look like? Dun 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 dun. We have been operating on the front line of crypto for the past 10 years, protecting large and small investors alike while allowing them to invest in this exciting new frontier of finance. The experiences we've gained here helps us to see what's coming down the road. In this historical period, a myriad of outcomes is possible, but one thing is for certain. The efficiency and innovation of the technology will influence well beyond traditional financial sectors. The mature digital assets industry is coming. Blockchain offers a faster, more efficient, and more secure structure for financial transactions when compared with the contracts, transactions, and records that currently define our broken economic, legal, and political systems. Harvard Business Review puts it secondly with a smile. The old financial structures are like rush hour gridlock trapping a Formula One race car. Rev up your engines in a digital world. The way we regulate and maintain administrative control has to change. From generation to generation, technologies have updated how we can complete financial transactions. The modern credit card has been around since the late 1950s. The first proper sale over the internet was completed in 1994. PayPal was founded in 1998 and went public and was sold to eBay in 2002. Satoshi Nakamoto started the blockchain revolution in 2008. Today, financial heavyweights are no longer standing on the sideline, and 55 out of 100 of the biggest banks in the world have some form of exposure to this novel technology. The first international regulations were handed down in Japan in 2016 after hacks against crypto exchanges, including an 850,000 Bitcoin theft against Mt. Gox. Because the success of financial markets is based on predictability, security, and general market efficiency, regulators continue to contemplate the direction and viability of their involvement with cryptocurrencies. Now, will regulation adopt to crypto or crypto regulations? Experts answer. Now, regulators and businesses want to ensure the investors enjoy certain protections in any marketplace, digital or otherwise, to spark participation. Think Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, for United States banks or eBay's money back guarantee. Without regulation, market participants can be exposed to long and short term risk. Regulators also ensure that markets play with an equal set of rules as Commodity Futures Trading Commission Commissioner, CFTC, Dan Berkovitz said back in June. It is unattainable to allow an unregulated, unlicensed derivatives market to compete side by side with a fully regulated and licensed derivatives market, end quote. And importantly, it's not just regulators and governments that will decide the future. It's about us, investors, leaders, and the general consumer deciding how we want to use our digital assets in the future. As the markets mature, the cryptocurrency industry will undergo an evolution of language as well. Regulation and broad adoption will change the way the media and public perceive and talk about digital assets. Crypto will retain its unique character as it matures. Don't expect to hodl, FUD, and the moon talk to disappear, but it's critical that a broader cohort of blockchain investors feel comfortable within this space. It may seem like a small thing, but attention for fusing the languages of crypto and institutional finance has enabled us over the past 10 years to work with a range of institutions from neobanks, fintechs, brokers, to banks, hedge funds, and family offices. The evolution of language happens in tandem with more large investors seeing blockchain's long-term value proven over time as they begin to diversify major holdings into crypto. 
thus increasing the association between these new assets as the legacy assets that have held historic value, gold, bonds, or central backed fiat. In businesses, you're judged by the company you keep, so we won't get that near-hearty embrace without adopting the language of financial services and regulators more broadly. Nonetheless, it's not unreasonable to imagine value in crypto as a commodity rather than a digital currency. U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell told Congress in 2019 that Bitcoin was a speculative store of value like gold. But Bitcoin isn't the whole story, just the most talked about. The industry must stop focusing on one particular use case for the technology and start talking more about money, investments, financial management, and smart payments. Now, we've discovered over the past 10 years that consumers are increasingly drawn to assets that have utility and can solve complex problems. Digital currencies have different use cases. For example, Tether would work well to pay salaries because it's tied, tethered to the US dollar, thus avoiding the volatility of Bitcoin. Braves, basic attention token, is charting a course for the future of online content by issuing payments and back to users of its browser for viewing ads. Those users can then tip anyone on the internet using that in their digital wallet. An Audius governance token makes a compelling case for crypto playing a bigger part in the future of the music industry, providing security, exclusive features access, and commodity, community-owned governance to artists and fans. So blockchain is about solving problems, not taking over the world, replacing fiat or banks, a common misconception among the general public. While Bitcoin may be the first, most recognizable asset because its name is recognition and arrived first on the scene, it's just one asset class among money, among many, my bad. So what does the future look like? Congress opened up the doors to regulators early this year when the Senate passed an infrastructure bill that contained an, an amendment bringing new scrutiny to the crypto industry. Investors, digital asset exchanges, and smart technologists, government officials, regulators, and everyone in between will benefit from more mature marketplace that protects its consumers and values transparency, predictability, and honest communication. Likewise, the majority benefit from clarity about which digital assets hold actual value and which exist as manip manipulative tools to make the wealthy wealthier. We've been here since the beginning, and we've seen the ebb and flow of trends, but we've seen what, what survives at the end of the day is always brilliant ideas that solve the emergent problems of our time. Yes, change is here. The mature digital asset industry has begun to emerge over the last several years, bringing in with a synergy of language that become more sophisticated and invented a broader audience to our table. The asset and insight that new... Confidence will lead to adoption of blockchain technology to unravel issues that no one ever dreamed could be addressed with the blockchain. Hey guys, I'm gonna wrap this up by saying I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a random raccoon making videos on YouTube. So please do your own research and invest responsibly. Thanks for tuning in.